Good morning, Village School, and welcome to today's live newscast. Your newscasters are Julia from Ms. Hum's class and also Michael from Ms. Hum's class. Today is Friday, October 30th, 2009. It is the day one. The character education thought of the day is be a trustworthy friend by staying together if you go trick-or-treating. And now for our up-to-the-minute weather. Today is expected to be cloudy. The current temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is expected to be 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The low this evening will be 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow we can expect it to be cloudy. There will be outdoor recess today. Today's lunch will be cheese or pepperoni pizza. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the sports report. The Yankees win game, one, game two of the World Series 3-2-1, and even the series at one game apiece. And look, Miss Steele was at the game. The next game is Saturday night. Now for our special guest Sergeant Mitchell from the Montgomery Police Department. Hi, my name is Sergeant Mitchell. I'm with the Montgomery Township Police Department. I've been asked to share some important safety information with you concerning Halloween. All of us at the Police Department want you to have a great time this Halloween and by following some simple safety tips will help make this a reality. First and foremost, your costume should be made out of a bright and reflective flame retardant material. They should be short enough to prevent tripping when you're walking, and you should wear properly fitted shoes. If a mask is part of your costume, it should be properly fitted to allow you for normal breathing and vision. Consider makeup as an alternative to a mask. If props are used, such as swords, knives, or other weapons, they should not be or resemble the real thing. Props should be soft and flexible. If you're going to be out at night, make sure you bring a flashlight with fresh batteries. Another important safety tip. Never trick or treat by yourself. Be sure to be escorted by a parent or other adult. Obey all pedestrian and traffic laws. Use sidewalks and cross all streets at the crosswalk. Never cross the street in the middle. Only trick or treat in the neighborhood you are familiar with. Only visit houses that are welcoming to trick or treaters. Now you can usually tell these houses will most likely have the front doors open during the day and porch lights on at night. Never enter a home or a car unless instructed to do so by your parent or other trusted adult. Lastly, do not eat any of that candy. I know it's real hard and very tempting to eat that when you get that stuff, but just wait until you get home. Have it checked out by a parent or an other adult to make sure it is safe. Thank you for your attention, and remember to have a safe and happy Halloween. Thanks for coming on our show, Sergeant Mitchell, and sharing those important safety tips. We would like to thank Mrs. Lococo for her help with the news this past week. Hi, talented artists. It's time to start thinking about kids' art. Please remind your parents how hard you worked in art class to create a special drawing of birds or flowers. Your artwork can be made into cups, mugs, bags, stuffed animals, pencil holders, and many other items. Let's take a look at some of these cool items. Ask your parents to return the order form for the Cool Kids Art Products by Wednesday, November 4th. Your friends and family will really appreciate your creativity. Order forms can be given to your teacher. Now for a word from our peer partners. Good morning, this is Katie. This is Tara. And Shane. We are peer partners and we are here to remind you to trick or treat for UNICEF. Knock, knock, trick or treat for UNICEF. What's UNICEF? UNICEF is an organization <laughs> that collects money to help those in need. They use the money to buy food, clean water, school supplies, and medicine. That sounds like a great uh, idea. Here's some change. And have a great Halloween. Trick or treat for UNICEF. For the VES News Network, this is Michael signing off. And Julia signing off. Tune in on Monday for another exciting edition of VES News. Have, Have a fantastic, fantastic Friday. Friday. Go Yankees. Go Phillies.